Problem 5 tells us that JetBlue flies planes from Los Angeles to Boston, and we're also told that the relationship between the hours of flying and the distance flown in miles is going to be proportional. So Y is going to show us our distance flown in miles, X is going to show us our hours in flight. And then Part A asks us to figure out what is the slope for the graph, and what do we learn about JetBlue's Los Angeles to Boston flight based on this slope. So again, slope is unit rate. To find that unit rate, if we have a graph, to find that slope, we need to find some data points on the graph. And you see on my table, the first one, two and a half hours and 1,500 miles. We look right here, right between two hours and three hours. So right at two and a half hours exactly, we're 1,500 miles in. And then also later on, we see five hours in at the, towards the end of the graph, we're at 3,000 miles of flight. So five hours in right here, we see 3,000 miles. We'll take a look at the whiteboard in full screen now. Because JetBlue's distance compared to its hours is proportional, I can use any one data point to find slope. I'm going to use 3,000 divided by 5, which would give me the same ratio as any other data point from that graph. 3,000 miles divided by the 5 hours. And if I know that 30 divided by 5 is 6. I know that 3,000 divided by 5 is going to be 600 over 1. So if we wrote an equation, we could say y equals 600x because every one hour this plane's going 600 miles. So the 600 miles would multiply with the number of hours x and that would equal your distance. So as we circle back to part a, what is the slope for the graph? Again, we learned that the slope was 600 miles for every one hour, and that told us the speed for JetBlue's LA to Boston flight. As we take a look for Part B now, Part B says they also offer a flight from Boston to Los Angeles. It's in the opposite direction. It says that on these flights, the plane travels more slowly because they are flying against the jet stream. So they fly into the wind. The Boston to Los Angeles flight is going to go more slowly. We're asked which of the equations below could represent the Boston to Los Angeles flight and to choose all correct answers. The key to see here is that the Boston to LA flight is slower. So we need a slope that is smaller than the y equals 600x. In fact, y equals 600x, this answer here, is the biggest distractor. That's the equation that matches Los Angeles to Boston, but now we're talking about which equation could represent the Boston to Los Angeles flights, which move more slowly. It tells me that A and B could be correct. Those slopes are both smaller than 600. That would be a plane at 500 miles per hour or a plane at 550 miles per hour. 650 is too big. And then a bit of the challenge here, you just needed to divide by 2 here, and you see that this unit rate, 1075 divided by 2, works out to a little over 500 miles per hour. But this one works out to a little more than 600 miles per hour, which is why F is also not correct.